Welcome, Alex. Uh, it's such a great pleasure to have you here. I can see you have a very nice X behind you. I know you have uh, some news uh, to all of us. So uh, how are you, first of, first of all? Very good. Uh, thank you. Hi, can Fantastic. you hear me? Very well, perfectly. So Fantastic. I want to leave the word to you, not steal your time. You have a lot to say. So just uh, your, your pitch can start. Brilliant. So uh, I would like to take this time to actually uh, not talk about the features and functions we have at Beyond Price. Uh, we have actually uh, developed a lot in the last uh, couple of years. We've got uh, a product that uh, is on par with uh, all the major yeah. players in the market. But what I would like to talk about today is a little about where we're going with Beyond Price. So we are just about to launch our new brand uh, on the 24th. So uh, stay tuned and you get to know what we're doing. Uh, and uh, I wanted to show with you uh, as well a bit of our vision, where we're going. So we're actually going from uh, uh, looking at revenue management and, and the room revenues and really trying to go and uh, take hotels to look at it uh, from a holistic standpoint. So we've got a few mandates within Beyond Price, which is uh, literally um, working on the holistic profitability transformation, really empowering uh, sustainable profitability with hotels. Uh, there's a massive uh, undertake in, in paving the way from uh, revenue management to profit management, which some organizations uh, have, have started taking that path, but uh, I guess the industry hasn't really gone there yet. And of course, uh, uh, how can we actually find profits within the books that a hotel has and take it to the uh, bottom line. In the gym. So uh, our mission uh, uh, of, of our new uh, uh, path is really to empower customers with really uh, uh, data transparency to make better decisions in a more sustainable and profitable way to really uh, 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 work, work towards uh, a sustainable, profitable future. So uh, in terms of uh, uh, the, the profitable uh, sustainability or sustainable profitability, we're really thinking of how can we help hotels to really take, make the most of the resources that you have uh, at the property and really uh, highlight how uh, sustainability is really intertwined with profitability? So uh, thinking about the platform uh, itself, so we are still uh, obviously in a revenue management platform with, uh, uh, as all hotels have a lot of disconnected points, uh, everybody was trying to consolidate, centralize, simplify and automate decisions on pricing. And the result of a lot of that, the hotels that are uh, still trying to make the leap to use revenue management systems is obviously uh, a loss in profitability. Uh, now, during the pandemic, we've got some interesting lessons that we, we actually take uh, forward. So we are actually going, I mean, if you think about the, this, the way we think of uh, uh, revenue management and, you know, Mike was just mentioning uh, revenue per available guest or per occupant. And that's where I think we... We are going. Uh, resorts uh, uh, have been doing this for quite a long time versus city hotels. And uh, I think that the post pandemic has really shown us that there's so much opportunity in terms of revenue in the surrounding uh, uh, areas of the uh, of the hotels. Now, uh, we've obviously experienced uh, uh, revenge travel, uh, luxury travel boom, and experience are all up for grabs. And what we understand there's, is, is coming up now is there is a massive change when you put the guests in the center of the hotel and take the room and just becomes one more revenue stream for the hotel. So from, from that perspective, uh, uh, we have what we call hotel quality index, which is kind of the first lens, which is very apparent on the consumer. And uh, do I, am I paying the right price for that uh, room? Am I selling at the right price uh, versus my comp set and so on? So HQI uh, uh, takes that approach and we have four pillars, which is uh, uh, very interesting. So we take uh, objective quality, uh, customer segmentation, online reputation, and then we are adding hotel sustainability uh, as one of the uh, areas that, that basically uh, guests look to make decisions. And uh, going still a bit about our vision, we really are working towards championing digitalization and really helping hotels to use solutions like you just seen uh, uh, this afternoon to really uh, retain revenue, generate revenue, and really uh, take revenue managers from uh, a place of this combination of value for money, sustainability, and digitalization to enable capturing uh, uh, revenue and profits in the property. So uh, I, uh, we have this vision where 
we have a, a very key and important task in the industry, which is trying to help hotels to uh, take revenue managers to this new discipline, which we think is profit management. Of course, we have there uh, a, a profit manager on, on, the, on, on the panel as well, which is uh, great. But uh, we believe that that's going to be the future of, of uh, revenue management. And that's where we're working towards. Um, so I think that in this, as a summary, we really are working. I mean, we've got some very interesting uh, features, like, for example, double segmentation uh, and a lot of things we can discuss with you guys if you're interested in getting to know more about Beyond Price. But uh, like I mentioned, we've got a big launch coming up in the next few days, and I just wanted to share with you our view on revenue management and the future of hospitality. So uh, uh, what, how it happens with us uh, 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 when hotel comes on board, we do a bunch of workshops, we understand the uh, inputs and outputs from the hotels, identify all the opportunities of where to find profits. We do what we call a revenue audit as well, so we can find where are the opportunities for you to retain, generate uh, revenue throughout the, the guest journey. And then therefore we go into implementation. And that is basically me. Thank you. Have a good morning. Thank you, Alex. Uh, yeah, the time just ran, I understand. So I want to leave uh, space to the question. So who has uh, a question for, uh, for Alex? Maybe Daniel? Um, hi, Alex. Many thanks. Great approach. Um, just curious about one thing. Talking about profitability requires great insights into group's business or mice business. Uh, especially when it comes to the decision, will you take Group A or Group B? So how how is how is your product gonna help the hoteliers to to make the decision with regards to group business? So we have a, a, a group group optimization a, a, a solution within the platform, but uh, uh, with I mean obviously that's a very uh, important part of the business. But uh, I think that uh, our approach is that that's just basically, again, one part of the business. We really want to look at it holistically from, you know, uh, uh, everything that you think about from the revenue generation that you do through guest messaging, uh, through the engagement with guests, basically getting uh, guests to, for example, skip room cleaning and, uh, you know, uh, uh, retaining that revenue that's already yours. So, so for us, the group business is very important. I think it's a, 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 an issue that every single revenue management platform is trying to resolve. And because you need to have the input of the quotations to really have you know, decent insight to give you proper uh, recommendations, uh, I think that every other revenue expert will agree that that's basically a massive challenge. So we are trying to focus on how can we uh, look at the property uh, from A to Z and how can we uh, almost like burst the little bubbles of silos uh, within the organization and really uh, uh, find some find the position that has the mission critical of finding profitability regardless of where you are in the organization. You know, forget your, your marketing, operations, uh, sales. We really want to help hotels and to them uh, uh, to be able to actually find those profits and take it to the bottom line and, and really connect the revenue management with the reality of the properties. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Very interesting. I really like you talking about profitability in the today, of course. So, next question, uh, maybe Par, do you not, do you have any question for Alex? Yeah, for sure. I have a lot actually, but uh, have to be quick. Uh, thanks, Alex. Good presentation. Uh, for me, as having a team with maybe six, six, uh, five, six profit manager, so it's nice to hear that you think more people should go that way, and it, we think the same. Uh, I was thinking about the sustainable profitability. Uh, you showed it, and how can you explain more how you get the sustainability into the numbers? Because in my way, sometimes I can get the feeling like uh, if you travel all over the world, you actually take a plane going half over the world. You always get the best discount because you come as a group, you take down the rates, and you're pushing it. So I think sustainability compared to like. Uh, net rev par and to discuss the cost and the impact i want to hear more about more about that um, perfect um i'll give you an example i'm currently at focus right in arizona and uh, i mean a, a little thing that can have an impact on hotel profitability dramatically is for example the the ditching of the single use plastic you know at the properties so you know that is an example uh, you think about guest messaging and how you can potentially upsell 
and uh, uh, you know, service from when you make the booking with the hotel, that also has a massive impact on profitability of the hotel. But when you go further and you think about, like I mentioned, for example, revenue retention, uh, let's say you are you are actually able to send a message to 90% or 90% of your guests will actually get a message saying, hey, would you like to change a drink? Uh, 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 let's say you're ch changing your towels or your sheets for a drink. You're literally getting uh, sometimes 10% of your rate, which is already yours, is in your books. You could potentially retain that, but if you don't have digitalization to actually achieve that, first of all, you can't retain the, the, the profits. Second, you can't engage the guests in what is not only profitable, but also sustainable. Because if you're basically not washing, not spending water, and basically uh, not having, for example, a uh, 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 waste of staff time and uh, a bunch of other things, it really has a massive impact on the profitability of the property. So when you think about it from our perspective, it's a lot more holistic and a lot more uh, uh, thorough than basically uh, looking at uh, one little piece. So we go through a revenue audit with hotels. We understand everything that you do all the way from, you know, are you using any sustainable solutions with, for power, for example, or are you not? And then we, 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 we pinpoint and paint a picture of where you are today and what you could, what you could achieve with the profitability uh, hotel index that we have. So we have a profitability index for every single hotel, and we can look at into a uh, deep dive in each one of the uh, areas and tell you, you've got a 50% possibility to uh, optimize revenue generation or revenue retention and et cetera. So that's how we go about okay, it. Okay, that's, that's really good. So basically you say that the basics that we already all of us doing, put up the numbers, don't throw your towel, use it again, things that you do it yes. in a more, defined, but you're not doing anything about the customer. So it's not like you give the customer that comes with a train 5% discount and you have to get a punishment if you take the plane there to this island. Actually, no, island probably not good with the, yeah. With the plane. Yeah. yeah, actually, yes. So we are working, uh, this is kind of a new announcement, but we're working with a company called Bioscore and we're working towards building what we call Hotel Sustainability Index. And that Hotel Sustainability Index in our vision it's going to be a, a, a consumer facing a, a, a B2C uh, index that people are going to look and decide how they're going to make their bookings. I mean, today at Focus Right, you know, Booking uh, is launching something with a company called Choose, uh, talking about how they do carbon of printing. But for us, uh, I think the hotel quality, index, uh, hotel sustainability index is something way bigger and uh, much broader. And I think that. It is uh, something that we are involving a lot of brands to build this uh, uh, along with a lot, a, lot, a lot of other partners. And I think that's what's going to happen. So there's definitely a, a, a B2C approach and uh, uh, an exposure to the customer as to what you are doing. So every customer that comes on board of Beyond Price does this uh, uh, sustainability uh, audit and we show you where you are. If you can be certified, fantastic. If you cannot be certified because you've got less than 65% of the requirements, then you, you pay a little extra fee and then they take you how, what you need to do to get certified. So uh, uh, we're literally taking it very seriously. We're part of the Global Compact and we believe that there's only one way forward. And I think this is, uh, this is the way, uh, being sustainably profitable. Amazing, thank you. Wow, that, that was a really impressive. And I think we could uh, talk for hours, but uh, yeah, we are running out of time. I just want to give uh, maybe time for uh, for an extra question, but uh, please stay in one minute. So, Roxanne, do you have any? Maybe? Just in case you have, of course. Um, yes, yeah, just one quick question. Who do you integrate with from, so this is more technical, what PMS booking engines do you work we, with? We, we work with uh, uh, most of the top uh, uh, tech stack in the world. So we work anything from, you know, uh, I mean, there's over 55 uh, PMSs we work with. And uh, uh, if, we, if you're a, a group that has, a, let's say, 20, 30 properties and you have a PMS we don't integrate with, we'll also do the integration without a problem at all. So uh, integrations is not a barrier. We have a bunch of them. We're working, uh, we recently just won Barcelo Hotels, which is an international uh, uh, Spanish hotel brand. And uh, I mean, there's a lot of uh, uh, hotel chains coming our way uh, uh, because I think they're aligned with our vision. They're, everybody, I, I think, is working towards what we're trying to work, which is literally building a sustainable, profitable future. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Wow, this this was really, and thanks the judges, of course, for asking the questions. This was really a very, uh, another great session, right, Christina? Do you agree that we really enjoyed it? And uh, yeah, I just want to thank you again and uh, say all of you, just stay tuned uh, with Beyond Price because they have many news and announcements. So thank you, Alex, for being with us.